Yeah, I love it. All right, all right. I am here with the winner, everybody. Coming in 27 minutes before Tina Saki got booked in Arizona is the first Magic Messenger of the new class of Magic Messengers, Mr. Dave Buddha from San Diego. Congratulations, Dave. Oh, it's, it's, it's good. I, I, feel, I feel really – today's been a great day. All right, so tell me all about it, man. I, I, you know, it's like I liken it to catching a fish. It's that same kind of energy, and I really wanted to get you on, on Skype so we could capture some of that and feel it. Yeah, so uh, well, first of all, the training that we did one-on-one with you and I, just like just breaking everything down, I mean, I, it just made it like – it made it so easy that I was kind of worried that I wasn't getting as much out of it by like forcing myself to, to you know – be a little more like on the fly like it was literally I just knew exactly what to do at all times and that was just a result of like awesome training so I really appreciate that um, I, I so we, we did some training uh, like an evening and then I, I made a bunch of calls the morning after this was about a week ago um, I called pretty much every every station in like you know like Bakersfield Palm Springs uh, Sacramento Know, a few others. Like I called a lot, and uh, I got a couple like oh maybe's, and I emailed people, and never got any follow ups. And you know I got like one, I got a couple of those actually, but most of the time it was actually pretty tough to, to get the producers. And I woke up to that, and I had been putting in this on my schedule. Hey, book morning news, and I I was supposed to do it yesterday, and I kind of put it off, and then I put it up today. I woke up this morning, and I was like, I don't know if I feel like doing this, and I was like, you know what, let's just try. And um, I have this this uh, thing on my whiteboard. Um, that's, that's my really my motto right now, and what, one of the things that's really helping me is action without expectation. And that's how I just that's how I'm trying to live right now, action without expectation. So I was like, all right, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity to practice that. So I made my first call to like uh, Palm Palm, Palm Desert. Um, I got on the phone with the producer really quick, and he was like, yeah, like let's hear about it. That sounds really interesting. And I was like, okay, uh, yeah, it's this. And I was like. And then that's so why I ended up sending him a proposal, and uh, he sounds really interested. Um, and I was like, okay. And then I called the next station, which was uh, this KGET in Bakersfield. Um, I was I did speak to one of their producers last time, so I just I asked for that producer, and they weren't around. So I said, well, hey, listen, what I'm really trying to do is speak to someone who books guests the morning news. Like, can you help me? And they said, yeah, I said, there's somewhere here. All right, cool. Talked to some woman. Like, she seemed really friendly right off the bat. Um, I was like, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a coach and author, from, you know, Southern California. I've got this second proposal. So, oh, cool. Sounds interesting. And I told her the, the title and I, and then I said, you know, because I had come up with this because I, we saw on Facebook that the Facebook status is more people and their relationships within the two months or two weeks before Christmas. And she's like, oh, that's so true. And I was like, yeah, I know. She's like, okay, cool. Well, are you free next week? Yeah. What was her name? I, I, I'm pretty sure I know her. What's her name? Uh, Megan. Megan? No, I don't know her. I don't know her. Uh, and, and it was like, she didn't even ask me, like, what the five things were. And nothing. It was just like, oh, that sounds cool. All right, next week. How's that? I'm like, yeah, what, what do you got? She's like, Tuesday. I was like, all right, see you Tuesday. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. No, no, no emails. Like, not, not even, didn't have to send an email. Didn't have to read or anything uh you know i was obviously i mean i was enthusiastic i was like you know i really like i was a i was a good salesman but only for 20 seconds that it needed so. you talk to her like a freaking person right yeah okay you yeah. see that's my point if you can just have a real conversation with these producers so that they can like get you and and feel that you're real and that you can converse and be intelligent in this little audition, then they book you. It's just that simple. And I, you know, one of the things that you that we had focused a lot was the timeliness too. I think I, I, I don't know, but I mean, I only did two calls this morning that both went really well. But like, I have a feeling that when I said around the holidays, like it was certainly more timely right now than it was like two weeks ago, like right before Thanksgiving. Everybody's thinking about Thanksgiving. So like, but I can really feel like you know, it's just about putting it out there. And like, sometimes they might be like. Know, at their desk going like God, we need some more segments and then you call and whatever you say even if you're like I just I just want to come on and like stare at this camera they'd be like oh at least I wouldn't have to book someone if I book this guy I mean you know 
so it's really like a timing thing, you know, it's like, it's, and it's just like, you know, it's just like meeting women, it's like, sometimes, like, they just, you know, broke up with their boyfriend, or their grandmother just died, you can't control that stuff, you know, you just put it out there, and sometimes it's like, this is exactly what I was looking for, and you're like, all right, sweet, like, that was easy, you know, so, yeah. Hey, man, I knew you could do it. I, I I know that everybody can do it, but I knew you could do it. You had a very solid segment. Uh, what was what was the title of your segment? Uh, relationship landmines to avoid during the holidays. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> landmines. <laughs> yeah, and, and I love the line that one of your other um, graduates gave. You know, they get your suit ready. I mean, it's so true. Like it's Friday. Like I have to rearrange my schedule to go up to Bakersfield on Monday night. And, you know, like, just dust up my suit. I don't have time to get it dry clean, which it doesn't need to be dry clean, but I wouldn't have time to do that anyways. Oh, you know. here's, here's the real tip for you, okay? When you're booked on one station in Bakersfield, call the other station and tell them, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a relationship coach from San Diego. I'm coming up to be on the other station, and I'm wondering if I could come over to your station when I'm done over there. I've got, I got to, yeah, Bakersfield is really cool that way. They, you know, they, they understand that, you know, a lot of people are not local in Bakersfield and they understand that if you're making a trip up there, that you're probably good. Okay. Now you've been vetted and approved by another media professional in their own hometown. So call them up and book yourself on there too. And you get two for one. Should I book a different segment or the same segment? Same one. Same segment, really. They don't care. They don't care. Oh, wow. All right. See, I definitely thought that. All right, that's cool. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so you're booked on the NBC station, right? Yeah. Now, now if, I, if I had a different segment, would it be better or just really doesn't matter at all? I think it's better for you to do the same segment twice because this way you'll get better at it. The goal is for you to be awesome at one segment so that you can – get booked on it over and over and over and and really do a great job so that like this time next year you'll be ready for national television shows with your segment. Awesome, yeah, right on. Yeah. So if you're booked on the it, it's it's like ABC is one and NBC is the other up there. And they each have two. It's like ABC Fox, I think. Uh man I'm Whoever it is that booked you, call the other one, all right? And I'm not sure if Megan is – is like did you talk to Mike Hart at that same station? Uh, it's the same station that has um, Erica Torres. Oh, Erica Torres. That's who I thought you were going to say. Okay, so – now last week and then I followed up today to go to try to talk to her, but she wasn't in. So I said, well, let me just talk to someone who books guests. Okay. And they put me on. See? Perfect. It doesn't matter who you talk to. You you just need to get somebody who books guests, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so now when you call up the other station, Mike Hart is the guy who books a lot of guests up there and tell him you're my friend and my student and that'll help you out. And is that on your Rolodex to Mike Hart? Absolutely. That's I'm pretty sure that's K R I V in uh, Bakersfield. Yeah, and then now you'll have two pieces of tape to put up on your website and it'll make it that much easier for you to get booked in the future. Yeah, and I love I love how quick too, like next Tuesday, that's like four days from now or something. <laughs> it's ridiculous, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. Great job, man. You you win the whole prize package. I, I mean, I, I'm gonna have to look and see all the things. You actually did get a very nice prize. Including two days here at the pink and white paradise in Acapulco next year at the convention. So congratulations, man. Yeah, man. I'm excited. Celebrity Convention 2013. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, Allie. Hey, Allie. Hey. <laughs> All right. Well, look, I'm going to show you a little of what you're going to get. All right. All right. I don't know if you can see. That's my private pool. That's my view. Yeah. Uh, it's actually an indoor outdoor pool that we have. <laughs> I can't guarantee that you're going to get this same suite because, you know, you're not Clint Arthur, but uh, you know, we'll do what we can, all right? Nice king bed. It all goes out to the uh, continuing view out here. 
This is what's waiting for all of my magic messengers in Acapulco at the beautiful pools of Las Brisas Resort. Do you, um, so does Las Brisas want you to mention it on the national TV, right? Uh, you know what, dude? I would like to figure out a way for you to mention them in every appearance that you do. Because, you know, the national media appearances are the ones that, that are going to get you the most number of nights here. But I'm going to talk to them and try to make it so that no matter where you mention them, you get at least one night credited to you. Because, you know, like, I, I plan on doing like 50 local segments in the next couple of months because it's around New Year's resolutions and stuff. And uh, I, I want to be booking nights for, for all of those. All right. <laughs> yeah, we have a winner. And by the way, Dave, you did it, man. You beat out Tina Saki by 27 minutes. Here's her email. Where's, here, here's Tina's email. She got booked this morning. Uh, let's see. Tina got booked. She sent me an email at 1.23 p.m. Like Acapulco time or something? Yeah, November 30th at one at 1.23 p.m. Uh, she got booked with five foods Ellen DeGeneres and Bill Clinton would never eat during the holidays, and neither should you. Okay? And uh, uh, she's going to be appearing on uh, KSWT Desert News in Yuma, Arizona on Thursday. Uh, it looks like she's going to be there next Thursday. So you're right. It's like, better have your suit ready. <laughs> but here's her email. And you hit me with a text at 1257. So you beat her out by just a few minutes. And that's the way it goes in television. It's very, very fast. Awesome, man. Awesome, man. Congratulations. I want to emphasize again, like how, how easy it was. I mean, it's, I literally... And it wasn't just that I had a script, because there's one thing when you have a script and then can't deviate from it, but to have the things that really mattered down and then allow yourself to just talk other than that, like, you know, I think you did a really good job of, of scripting the things that need to be scripted, but not scripting the things that don't need to be scripted, you know, and, and, and that's, that's a really, that's a really important thing, because a lot of, I think a lot of, like, you know, whether it's sales training or even like, you know, picking up women, it's like, you just, you want to like, you want to give people tools so they don't suck, but you don't want to like, you know, tie their hands together. And I think that was just a really good, um, it's just perfect, man. It was great. Well, like I say, it's the most important thing is that you just go and speak from your expertise. And as long as you're coming from your genuine expertise, you're going to be absolutely fine. And, you know, that's, that's really the only thing that you have to offer is your perspective as an expert in your topic. And, you know, when you stick to that genuine place of expertise, you're, you're going to get booked. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. All right, man. Way to go. Uh, please be sure to be on the, on the webinar on Sunday because I'll be wanting to feature you and, and, uh, uh, and certainly, again, after you do your appearance, we'll want to feature you again and get your perspective on what it was like to go up there. Sweet, man. We'll do that. Awesome. Uh, there's a Four Points Sheraton up in Bakersfield. I've stayed there a number of times. Uh, if you're not already a member, I suggest you become a uh, Starwood Preferred Guest member because you're going to be using a lot of those hotel nights in the months ahead as you uh, expand your experiences as a magic messenger. Cool. I think I know a girl up there. So. Oh, oh, okay. Very nice. Okay, well, again, call up Mike Hart. I've had people call Mike Hart at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and get booked. So, just like that. All right? There we go, everybody. Magic Messengers, triumphing in the world. Another one joins the ranks, Dave Buddha. Again, congratulations. <laughs>